Welcome back everyone to Foxtech. If you're using your iPad Pro or essentially any other iPad for creative projects and working with text, you might be looking to enrich your documents with some more interesting fonts. If that sounds like you, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to add fonts to your iPad Pro so you can have more options to choose from when working on your projects. Let's start with the basics. To get new fonts on your iPad, you know, the first thing you'll need to do is download the fonts you want from the internet. There are plenty of websites out there where you can find free fonts. Two of the most popular ones are dafont.com and Google Fonts. These sites offer a wide variety of fonts that you can download and then add to your iPad. Just make sure you have the rights to use the fonts, especially if you're working on something for commercial purposes. Once you've downloaded your fonts, the next step is to manage and install them on your iPad. To do this, you'll need a font managing app. One of the best options available is an app called iFont, which is free to download and use. iFont makes the process of installing fonts on your iPad straightforward and user-friendly. After you've downloaded the font and opened it in iFont, you'll need to complete the installation through the iPad settings. This part is crucial because it ensures that the font will appear in any software you're using on your iPad. To do this, navigate to your iPad settings app. In the settings menu, go to the general section and then look for the profile section where you'll see the fonts that you've added through iFont. From there, follow the prompts to install the font. Once the font is installed, it will be available for use in any compatible app on your iPad. This means you can use your new fonts and apps like Pages, Keynote, and even some third-party design apps, adding a unique touch to your creative projects. And that's pretty much how it works on the iPad Pro. Adding fonts might seem like a small detail, but it can really elevate your work by giving you more options and helping you achieve the exact look and feel you're going for. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you learn how to add fonts to your iPad Pro. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tips and tutorials just like this. See you guys later.